In terms of risk, of course, um, sometimes it's not an attack. Sometimes it's just errors. And that is something that we have to protect ourselves against. Our, you know, even if it's an error, if it's a problem, if it's a risk, if it is uh, potentially damaging to the enterprise, to the company, to our operations, we need to pay attention to that. We need to catch that. We need to detect that. And uh, we will, uh, eventually at some point, uh, get into controls and the types of controls. And, of course, you know, detective controls are uh, one of the types of controls that we are needing to put in place. We have to detect errors. We have to detect repetition of errors. Are there errors that we do repeatedly and by repeating sometimes uh, create uh, bigger problems than, than just the accumulation? You know, do, do the problems, do these errors uh, start to multiply? Uh, and, and we get geometric progression in terms of the, uh, the problems that we're creating for ourselves. Um, cascading of errors, errors that build on other errors, uh, errors that then cascade into other processes, and even though we're doing those processes correctly, we get incorrect results because of the original errors. Uh, job flow errors, you know, the results of, of one part of the job, job the, the, you know, initial process, creating problems down the line as the the processes flow together as as the different parts come together and part of that is you know something that we've done in in error and it creates a problem again you know all of these errors all of these types of errors create different types of problems we have to detect them we have to correct them again corrective controls compensating controls and we'll get into it all the different types of controls. Um, now, there are control technologies uh, that we can put in place, that, that we certainly need to put in place. Are we, um, are we doing the right thing? Because, of course, there's rapid changes in technology, as, as we all know. There are even more rapid changes in the control technologies. Uh, as I say, I, you know, one of the reasons that I like security is it doesn't matter uh, what you learn. Uh, there's an application, and, and particularly in regard to the changes in technology, you know, which field is changing fastest, uh, security's got to have a lock on it because it doesn't matter what technology changes. It has a security implication. So we need to... Uh, look at the changing technology and the changing control technologies, the changing technologies that provide us with uh, additional safeguards or countermeasures, and, and do we have them properly in place? Are we paying attention to the changes that may be of benefit to us, but only if we use them, and use them appropriately as well? So, um, in, in terms of our errors, Incorrect entry of data, of course. Uh, concentration of data. Uh, we, uh, uh, you know, we focus our uh, our data, our our attention to the data in in different areas. And and does this um, uh, create problems for us as as we are creating uh, entries and and uh, databases and and. Uh, you know, concentrating our, our data and by concentrating our data uh, possibly losing information out of that. So, uh, we have uh, you know, increasingly in our society, and, and this is, creates problems of its own, the, uh, the inability to react quickly um, in an organization. This is particularly in large organizations, but it's also in, uh, you know, possibly smaller organizations, even startups, if we are not paying attention to 
the changes in the environment around us, the technology environment, uh, particularly in our case. But, um, you know, we, we need to be uh, agile, and everybody is always talking about that. You know, everybody wants to innovate, and nobody wants to change. You've got to keep up. You've got to keep studying. You know, lifelong learning, that is a, a part of this. If you're going to get into security uh, and you don't like learning, you're in the wrong field. Um, we need to uh, look at our processing and be able to tell, you know, is this doing the right thing? Can we substantiate our processing? Are our processes giving us the right results? Is, you know, can we detect not errors not only in terms of our entry and in, in terms of uh, some of the processes, but, you know, at the end result, um, is this the correct result? Uh, you know, are there are there controls that we can build in to detect errors at that level, at that overall level, uh, and and then that you know does give us uh, the uh, sort of flag and heads up to uh, possibly do some additional uh, checking of potential errors. So. Um, now we've we've talked about um, uh, auditing and um, the the separation of duties, uh, and you know the, part of the the principle involved there is um, are we avoiding a concentration of responsibilities? We have uh, you know people responsible for certain. Uh, activities for certain projects for uh, certain processes and functions within our business um, have we concentrated that too much the the responsibility you know we need to uh, broaden the responsibility so that uh, different people can detect when something goes wrong even if they're not necessarily uh, performing the operation or responsible for performing the operation do they have a, a subsidiary responsibility in their area to do some checking for somebody else um, and you know broaden that responsibility now we don't want to dilute the responsibility in a sense um, you know like I said right at the beginning you know security is everybody's business and everybody's business is nobody's business but you know do we make people aware Yes, because you are dealing with this aspect, you also have a responsibility to, to check that piece over there and make sure that it is working properly, that everything is going okay for that person, that department, that office. Um, uh, again, um, different checks, different detection mechanisms to look for fraudulent or falsified input data where people are, are deliberately manipulating us and, you know, uh, that goes all the way, you know, up to uh, disinformation campaigns by some uh, adversarial uh, entity. Um, do we have a situation where we can catch misuse by authorized users, people who who should be having access to our systems and data, but are doing mm, something we don't want to happen with it. Um, and, you know, I, we will talk about uh, application security and, and, you know, an entire domain there. Do we have um, checks in terms of uh, reacting to ineffective application security, particularly in areas where, for example, we are uh, contracting or licensing somebody else's system or subsystem as a part of our overall processing.